Namaste from the beautiful subcontinent of India. Honorable Dr. Hong Tao Se, President of the Federation of World Peace and Love, Excellencies, Distinguished Co-Speakers, Ladies and Gentlemen. The 5th of April, as we all know, has been designated by the United Nations as the International Day of Conscience. My heartfelt felicitations to Fopal on the magnificent occasion of the second International Day of Conscience and warm greetings to everyone across the world on this very special day. We realize that the world can become harmonious, peaceful and prosperous when we emphasize on moral ethics and conscience within us. So firstly, let's understand what is conscience. From my perspective, it is that part of the mind that tells you if what you're doing is right or wrong. So in a way, it is a very powerful and critical aspect of your thinking process because it is helping you to demarcate your way ahead, to distinguish what you should do and what you should not do. So you have to let that voice speak from within because it is your closest and most trusted friend and confidant and your conscience most importantly, won't ever lie to you. So as long as you're actively listening to your conscience, you won't go wrong in the choices you make. So now imagine your conscience telling you the right from the wrong at every step. And you, like a good human being, listening to all the goodness you can bring to yourself and people around you. What do you think is going to lead to? Goodness probably raised to the power infinity. Happiness raised to the power infinity. Purity of your soul raised to the power infinity. Sensitivity and compassion and empathy and care again raised to the power infinity. So many attributes could be raised to the power infinity. Goodness triggers goodness and grows multifold. If I'm good to you, and I respect you and your rights as a human being, chances are very strong that you will also be good to me and respect me and my human rights. So conscience has the capability to create a monumental difference in human behavior and relations. The gap may however come when we don't pay enough attention to our conscience. For instance, if we look at day-to-day -day lives in the current times of the pandemic, We've unfortunately seen a rise in domestic violence across the world. Largely speaking, people were limited to the four walls of their homes in the lockdown for weeks and months, especially last year. And unfortunately, their patience ran out. Their desperation, their uneasiness, their low levels of tolerance completely took over their personalities. They probably stopped listening to their conscience. For example, hypothetically, instead of, let's say, a husband helping his spouse in the daily chores and upkeep of the home, taking care of the children, etc., didn't seem to be consistently participant and helpful. Instead, he was frustrated and irritable and abusive and lost sight of the human rights of his spouse. The spouse, on the other hand, was not only doing all the physical work and chores, and had tremendous fatigue and despair, but also bore the brunt of verbal or physical abuse. Sometimes even children have had to cope with distress from angry and frustrated parents. And this is all an outcome of not listening to the voice of your conscience. So what I'm saying is that the role of conscience is critical to your core functionality. The choices you make, the decisions you take, your thoughts, your actions, your beliefs and your responses. If you activate your conscience levels, you will not only respect your own rights, but also respect others and their human rights. I think it's time for people to also enhance their life skills like empathy, effective communication, coping with stress and emotions, decision making and problem solving, critical thinking, etc and become more sensitized to the goodness we all innately have as human beings. 
after all, it is human for us to find solutions. I also believe that an educated mind has higher chances to rationalize better and make more informed choices. And I certainly think that everyone must be better informed about their own rights as well as the rights of others for the larger good of global society. We need to learn to live and let live. And like I said earlier, your conscience can play a very pivotal role in facilitating the understanding of human rights as long as you listen to it carefully and act accordingly. Thank you. Namaste.